Okay, so hey guys, welcome back to another Access 2 video. Today I'm here with Dylan Fitzgerald. Dylan, yet again, victorious, 2-0 now. How are we feeling? Yeah, feeling great, you know. It was good to get another win on the chart and keep keep the win streak rolling. So yeah, I'm feeling good, man. And of course, like we said off camera, it was a bit of a trickier opponent. Credit yeah. to you, second fight for taking that. How was the, the game? I like I say, it was a good, I knew he was um, good watching him. He's got good movement. He wasn't a journeyman, he was, he'd had one fight. So it was good getting in there with a kid like that, hungry. You know, not going in for the loss. So yeah, he was very good at moving round. And I was trying to hunt him down and had my good parts and I got the win. So yeah, I'm happy. And you know, the, the way you do manage to, you know, keep that range and keep that distance with your shots, it's impressive. And is that something you pride yourself upon? Yeah, like I say, I didn't want to get too involved and get too close and, and then let him get the benefits of the close range and stuff. So I tried to keep it long. Maybe I, I waited a bit too, too much sometimes. I should have kept popping that jab, but you know, I'm gonna come with the, that's gonna come with learning, and I'm gonna just, just yeah, keep learning. So yeah. Do you feel like every day in the gym, as well as well as with every fight, you're developing? Yeah, I feel like I'm learning every day in the gym. That's what it's all about. Just getting in there, going to the gym every day. You don't want to do it all the time, but you go in there and keep learning, and that's what I'm gonna carry on doing. You know, I've got a lot, lot more years of doing. It. I'm only 21, so yeah. Of course, and I suppose, you know, as a, as a young fighter yourself, is it, you know, important to make sure that you're, you're staying disciplined outside of the ring? Yeah, like I say, I'm very disciplined. I don't go out, drink, all of that stuff, you know. Since I turned pro, you know, I packed all that stuff in and I'm just dedicated to the sport now. So, yeah. Of course, and, you know, stepping along, moving along. Am I right in saying you've got another fight already, kind of somewhat on that? Yeah, I'm fighting on April the 27th in Derby, so it'll be good to see everyone who come down because I had a crazy support, you know, I heard them all. It, it's a good buzz. I appreciate everyone for coming. So, yeah, we're going to get that again in Derby on the 27th. So it's like, what, seven weeks away, something like that? So, yeah. And, uh, of course, you know, now you're, you're pro, you've, you've learned, I suppose, the difficulties sometimes of selling tickets. And how much has it, has it meant to have such a big support? Uh, it's been great having all the support, you know. I'm Irish, so I've got all, I've got phew, hundreds of cousins, you know. So <laughs> they're all showing support and I appreciate all the support because the thing is nowadays, tickets aren't cheap. 50 quid a ticket, you know. Like, I feel like a bit of a, a CUNT asking people to buy tickets all the time, do you know what I mean? But, you know, I appreciate the support and yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm really happy about all the tickets I've sold. I sold about 140 for this one again. So yeah. It's incredible that, and uh, I suppose, you know, being Irish, is there a, a possible Irish fight which you'd love to have down the line? Uh, I don't really know. You know, I'm only two and 21, so I've got so many, I've got, uh, I'm not gonna rush, I've got, I've got bags of time, but that'll be something I'll have to look into, yeah. Would there be a venue that you'd like to fight in Ireland? Uh, I'll fight anywhere. <laughs> you know, I'd love to fight in the big stadiums. Obviously, we're on small horse shows now, and that's how it's going to start for me. And I'm going to build my way up, and we're going to be on the big show soon. And I suppose, you know, now 2-0. and do Before fights, do you feel like you, you've kind of handled your nerves better this time? Yeah, like, like I say, the pro debut's always going to be the worst, you know. You can't, you can't fuck up on your pro debut, so I felt less pressure this time, and yeah, it was all good. I suppose are you settling into the pros now? I'm settling in well, yeah. You know, I'm learning to pick my shots well and not rush. It's like bam, bam, bam. I'm just, yeah, I feel like I'm settling in well. So, yeah. And one final question, a question which I'm trying to ask every fighter. Other than, I suppose, winning, of course, what, what else is your favourite part of boxing? Seeing everyone else love the win, really. And just, you know, it just feels good. So, yeah, that's all I'd say. I don't really know what to say to that question. Of course, and thank you very much, Dylan. Yeah, thank you. I just want to say thank you to my family, my mum, my dad, all my mates, my missus, everyone, all, all the family. I just want to say a big thank you to them and thank you to all my sponsors as well. Quality stuff. Thank you very much, yeah, mate.